Here we have the initial integration test. Power supply, switch array, master volume tone, inverted volume tone 1, 2, 3, and 4. All volumes on the inverter volume tones are set to 100% and all inverters are straight. The switchboard is set with everything off. Master volume at 100%. No amplification. Now we connect A plus to out plus and A minus to out minus. And we have the neck neck pickup. Now we can add in the neck bridge pickup. You can hear the difference. Add in the bridge neck pickup. Add in the bridge bridge pickup. Now we just take out all of the neck. We take out the neck, the bridge neck. We have a single coil, the last coil here. These are all being done by switching. Now suppose we want everything in series. So we have A plus to out plus, A minus to B plus, B plus nowhere, B minus to C plus, C plus nowhere, C minus to D minus, and D plus to nowhere and D minus to out plus. We now have complete series. What happens if we invert the A in the series? It becomes wimpy. Okay. Now, suppose we want to add a tone. Let's go back to our simple configuration of A, to A uh, the mi primary uh, coil in the neck only. So we turn everything off. Be sure everything's off. We have we have one coil on the neck. We have this coil active only. Now let's turn on the tone and see if we can make it reduce its tone. It does work, but not very perceptibly. So this initial integration test shows that things do work. There's hardly any noise. One of the key factors in reducing the noise was connecting all the grounds together. That means the power supply ground and the amp ground all to zero, including the shielding on the pickups and on the bridge. This is now a big, huge success.